for service. And we try that again. I'm in. So we can now remotely manage this box. So let's try another snap in. Disk manager. And once again, we're trying a remote box. But it doesn't work. So the issue we have here is that for the remote volume management, we actually need a different set of firewall rules open. So this isn't going to work. So let's jump back. Log in again. Oops. So which services are running right now? So we don't actually have the virtual disk service running. So that was just net start VDS, it's the command I ran. Now I want it to start at each reboot, so this I'm going to use the SC command to set VDS start to be set to automatic. Notice I have a space between the start equals and auto. Uh, that's required or it doesn't work. The next thing I need to do is actually enable some advanced firewall rules. So I've enabled that group. Now, I also have to enable it on the box that I'm remotely managing from, or it does not work. So right now, I've not done it on my local box. I've got the access denied, I couldn't access it. I'm just gonna remove it. Add it again. Try again. Still doesn't work. What I actually need to do now, this is on my local box, I need to do that same configuration. So that's on my local box. And I'm done. So I can now remotely manage my volumes on that remote box as well. So I can remote manage, I can see my event viewer, disk management, uh, all the typical snap-ins will now work remotely. So what else may I want to do on that box? No. So if I wanted to install software, I have an MSI file, I can just use MSI exec slash i to install the name of the application dot msi uh, I don't have any so it's not really going to do anything um, to see software that I've got installed I can use wmic product again I've, I've got nothing installed on this core instance but what I probably want to do is now install some roles um, and features so I can't use server manager, which is what I would normally use. So I have an OC list command, which will show me all of the roles and features that are available and which ones I've got. So pretty much
I have nothing. So I can install them. Um, to do that, we just use the OC setup command. So I want this command prompt to wait while it's doing the installation. And I basically just use the name in these brackets. So if I wanted to install Windows Server Backup. That's eventually going to install the server backup. If I start task manager, so task manager is available. Oh, it's finished. <laughs> Poor example. Um, when you install something else, that takes a little bit longer. Um, we can install um, the DHCP server core. So I'm installing a role this time. And you see this trusted installer process? That's the guy installing the role. And he's basically now finished, so he's doing nothing again. So that's how we install roles and features. If I do the OC list again, we'll now see a slightly different output because we actually have software installed. So installed, Windows Server Backup, as opposed to not installed. The SCP Server Core is now installed and not, not installed. Uh, there's many other things uh, that you can do, but at this point we have an installation. We've enabled remote desktop, we've installed features, roles. Uh, you can access reg registry editor with regedit and navigate around. Uh, you have notepad. Um, but at this point you have a server core installation that you can remotely manage and uh, that concludes this uh, weblet. Uh, thanks for your time.